In this video, I'll be discuss about oxidation and reduction reactions. Students, you should know that oxidation and reduction reactions are abbreviated as redox. Basically, the simplest concept of oxidation and reduction is the movement of the electrons. You can say that electrons move between atoms. So let's have a look on the definition of oxidation. It's a loss of electrons by an atom or an ion during a chemical reaction. And reduction is the gain of electrons by an atom or an ion during a chemical reaction. We can summarize loss and gain of electron by an atom is called redox reaction. Let's suppose there is an atom A which tends to lose its electron towards an atom B. So when an atom A loses electron, it undergoes oxidation or it gets oxidized. And the atom B, which gains or accepts electron, it becomes reduced. You can also define redox reaction as a change in the oxidation number. As electrons is negatively charged particles, so by adding electron to an atom, its oxidation number is being reduced. Sometimes it's so confusing for the students that why should a reduction is a gain of electron? Because you should know that when you are reducing something, you are getting lesser. Actually, electrons are negatively charged. And when you add electron to, to an atom, it's a positive number that goes down. More will be the addition of the electron. Lower will be the its uh, positive charge. So oxidation is the loss of electron. Positive number increases. And uh, reduction always, when it happens, it uh, lowers the positive numbers. So that is why it is called reduction. So we can explain this concept by having a look at the redox reaction of sodium chloride. You know that sodium is a metal. It's a neutral metal. And uh, when it uh, carries zero charge, it's a neutral. The zero indicated at the top of the symbol uh, means that atom is neutral. You know that electronic configuration of sodium atom, its atomic number is 11. So it's the first shell having two and the second having eight. And the last one is having one electron. It means that the second last shell is fulfilled by eight electrons. And you also know that uh, atoms, all the atoms have a desire to complete its duplet or octet. So when the sodium is having the eight electrons in its valence shell, it means it will tend to lose its 11th electron from its outermost shell because it's very easy to lose the last electron as compared to gain seven electron to get again a duplet or octet. Okay, the half reaction of sodium, sodium neutral, sodium metal, it undergoes oxidation. It loses one electron from its valence shell and becomes sodium ion because it loses its negative charge. So its positivity increases. On the other hand, there is a chlorine atom. The chlorine, it's a non-metal. The zero at the top of the symbol indicate that right now chlorine is neutral. The electronic configuration of chlorine atom, its atomic number is 17. It's K shell having two, L having eight, and M orbit having seven electron. According to the rule of electronic configuration, uh, sodium, loses electron and chlorine being a non-metal it accepts one electron from sodium and complete its octet because it's also having a desire to become stable so half reaction of chlorine atom chlorine neutral it accepts one electron as it is gaining negativity that is why its positive number lowers and uh, its zero number zero changes into minus one because it's gaining minus one elect uh, electron or minus one charge. Now the electronic configuration of chlorine is K shell two, L shell eight, M shell eight. It's M also done with eight electron. Now it becomes stable. It is called chloride ion. 
Now the overall reaction between sodium atom and chlorine atoms by addition of two half reactions. You can easily write the overall reaction, uh, the previous reactions, half reactions which we have discussed. Sodium atom becomes sodium ion by losing one electron and uh, chlorine atom becomes chloride ion by gaining one electron from sodium atom. So add these two reactions. The electrons which are at the opposite side of the equation, we can cancel these uh, electrons. So by cancelling these two electrons on both the sides, add the reaction, sodium atom plus chlorine atom goes to sodium ion and chloride ion. Or you can combine both the ions and a positive Cl negative sodium chloride. But you should also know that chlorine element always exists as a molecule. It cannot exist as an atom because in the form of atom it becomes very reactive and unstable. So actual balanced equation is sodium atom plus chlorine molecule undergoes and after reaction it becomes sodium ion and chlorine chloride ion. When you balance the chemical equation you have to write the positive or uh, uh, integers on both the sides. So two sodium atom, one molecule of chlorine, it becomes two sodium ion and two chloride ion or two NaCl. So in this way, uh, sodium chloride formation is done and uh, in, these, in these half reactions and overall reaction, you have just uh, understand that how oxidation and redox reaction takes place, how electrons move between the atoms in this way.